Kiara, and good morning to everyone out there. Wow. Um, I thought perhaps I share something with everyone very, very quickly. I just had one interesting experience while I was um, coming from uh, work this morning uh, with the children <clears throat> at our center. And um, I encountered a couple of uh, young high school students, boys, uh, going to school. But before I come back, uh, before I, I, I guess I come to that, I just want um, to acknowledge the government and people in parliament for passing that law, stopping people smoking in the car, in, in vehicles, in cars, even with the even with the windows wound down. I think that was a brilliant move. Hell, I've been wondering when this is ever going to happen. I've seen it countless times, whereby people in vehicles will wind the windows down and then smoking with their children in the you know in the car or vans and oh it's very sickening and you have these children these innocent children inhaling smoke after smoke from their parents guardians relatives friends family you know, it just wasn't right. I mean, honestly, I don't, I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. How can you smoke in a vehicle thinking you wind down the window and the smoke would just, the whole thing would just whiz out. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. And these innocent children have no clue what they're inhaling. Worst case, they grow up and they adopt that same addictive behavior as the people in their lives, their role models are doing. Anywho, this morning, um, so anyway, congratulations to the government and um, to members of parliament for passing that law. It's about time. Anywho, this morning, I was just coming from work and while I was driving, I came across a couple of high school students just uh, tucked away in the corner and I just saw smoke just bellowing from the <laughs> from the corner. So I um I have the habit of doing this. Um I, I parked my vehicle in a safe spot, got out of the vehicle, and then approached them. Three boys, and you know, well dressed and all, looking all neat and clean, and smoking. Passing a cigarette, actually, just smoking. Just normal cigarette. And I approached them and I said, Hey, um, Shouldn't you boys um, be at school? And they said, and one of them had the audacity to look at me and said, well, that's none of your business because, you know, we, we do whatever we want. And I, and I looked at them and thought, I said, well, actually, I didn't think. I was like, um, actually, it is every bit of my business. You're supposed to be in school. And for your age, smoking is illegal. And they all just froze. And then one of them, one of, the, one of the boys, the one in the middle, this tall chap, said to me, well, you know, my dad works in da 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 da, -da party in the government. So I took five more steps closer to them. I took the cigarette out of his mouth, doused it on the ground, got back up, looked at all three of them, and I said, I don't give a damn who your father is, who your parents are, and who they work for. And I continued by saying, take a good look at me. Do I look like the sort that get threatened by statements of such sort? And they all stood very quietly. A, a bit shocked, don't get me wrong. Then I said, answer me. And they said, no. I said, good. 
because I don't give a damn who your parents are or who they work for, be it government or private. And then I said, this will kill you. Smoking is dangerous. It's very addictive. It destroys lives. It will literally kill you. And then I said, on your way, go to school. Now, they didn't look very happy at all. They grabbed their bags. Oh, and they left. They went. I stood there for a few more seconds. They carried on. There was another situation, not similar to, not related to smoking. I was in, um, in one of the countdowns. And um, <laughs> I was there to get our groceries. And when I walked in at the counter, waiting for her because it was an online shopping. So, I, you know, I signed at the counter, simply just waited. And, I, and, I, and this one, this counter was actually the Newtown one. And I was there waiting. Um, and while I was waiting, this mom was about to check out. She was getting, you know, her, the food, her food, you know, just, you know, offloading it. And this, she had two children with her. And one of her children, a young girl, probably around the age seven, maybe seven or eight, was screaming off the top of her head, screaming, yelling abuse. I'm not kidding you. It was really bad. Literally squealing, yelling, and yelling at her mom and screaming, you're not getting me this. Da, 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 da. What? I'm, I kid you not. It was really bad. Everybody was staring. I felt sorry for the mom. And I stood there and I was looking around. Really, really looking around. And everybody just stood there looking. The staff, the people who run the place, everybody just stood there looking. And this girl continued screaming. And the mom was offloading very, very quickly just so she can get through and take her out. I felt sorry for her. So you know what I did? I stepped in. I told that young girl, quiet. Enough. Shame on you. What are you doing? Look around you. Everyone is staring. You should be ashamed of yourself. She stopped. Right there and there. Oh, she did. And everybody else, for some reason, was smiling. Either they were impressed or they were shocked that somebody actually did something. So the mom checked out. On her way out, she came close to me and said, thank you. I really appreciated what you did. And I told her, you're welcome. Then I looked at that young lady and did, behave yourself. It's a shame how we fail to get our children in line. The biggest shame ever. These young boys who were smoking this morning, everybody, were, people were just walking past. Just ignore them. They were in uniform, smoking. It happens a lot. And I, when, every time I'm out there, I stop them. I keep telling, I keep sending students to school. Okay, you don't smoke. And I sometimes just take it out, down, send them off. <sighs> Children. Our young, our youth, they're young for a reason because they lack the experiences we have as adults. People need to take action and stop being afraid to stop other people's children from making mistakes and destroying their lives. We need to be brave. I need people out there to be brave. And when you see things like that, you need to step in and help. That is the meaning of community. Don't stand by and watch. If a young person is out of line, put them back in line and send them on their way.